everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Apparently, Doki is making a depression chamber. I think this is this is to be taken with a grain of salt and to be taken as kind of a lighthearted thing, of course. <laughs> My PC room, this the current PC room at the moment, I can see the outside. I purposely chose my new PC room where there is no windows because I do not need any more. <laughs> Oh no! That's so funny. Uh, the room that's gonna be my PC room will have zero window. <laughs> I don't need natural light. I don't. <laughs> I will see the outside when I have to walk down. <laughs> there's a window. There's Amber windows Doge. outside the PC room, but the PC room has zero windows. <laughs> What if you need fresh air? That's what Amazon Prime is for. I can order the fresh air from the fucking mountain Alps. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're making a depression chamber. <laughs> that is the sacrifice I'm willing to make. I am tired of living in the fucking greenhouse chat. Like, I don't know if you know this, but like, I, I, I hate my room. That is like, okay, I just realized this is pissing me off a little bit, but give me a sec. I need to like, <laughs> this is actually then dude, I, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm okay, guys. I just want you guys to know I'm. This that was a joke, guys. That was that was a joke, guys. I think yes, that was just that replicates light of the sun for mental health reasons. Are right, it's all right. There's no way my mental. <laughs> as my pc workroom because like it's always so fucking hot it's so hot it's pissing me off because like the sun shines into the windows and then like and it like heats everything up and like no amount of air conditioning can fix this it, it just can't fix it because i'm literally i have fucking two four five windows i have five fucking giant ass those like windows that almost touch the floor and i'm in the sun is just Fucking shining onto my body and giving me their UV radioactive rays. Um, Doki acting very much like a neat, uh, except that she actually has a job, but you know, very act, very much acting like the neat, uh, type of personality there. Uh, very much, um, it, it is, it is one of those things. It is definitely a, a, uh, a very, a very crazy, um, very crazy thing, uh, to hear, but it is all in good fun, of course. When it comes to Doki, she brings laughter and happiness and everything to every single time that someone is going and chatting and doing anything with her. And that's that's one of the wonderful things that is going on there. Um, that's one of the wonderful things that she has going for herself. That very good personality, that wonderful energy, that lovely laugh. That's what everyone goes for. But yeah, she's building a depression chamber because she doesn't like the greenhouse that makes it too hot. I do understand that. Windows are a good thing because, you know, they bring natural light and stuff, but they also bring in heat. So yeah, the bringing in of the heat is going to be one of those things that is going to draw people crazy. Uh, I have an AC in my room and it barely is able to handle with the heat that's in my room with the PCs and everything that I have in here. They're old PCs, that's why they're super hot. But yeah, they're PCs nonetheless. You can agree or disagree or have arguments with other people out there. And that is absolutely something that can happen. Um, that is absolutely something that can uh, occur. And But don't do what this person did. This is Bub, Bub the Law. A tomboy, demon VTuber, and gamer. Uh, some people can be pretty toxic with gaming, and this person has done that. They've done just that. When you think someone couldn't be toxic, they decide to be very toxic with the way they're doing things. And uh, I, I really, I don't appreciate it, and I think other people won't either. What am I talking about? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is what this person does here. And what they do is, let me make sure that there's volume here and make sure that everything happens. Yep, you're going to be able to hear it. Here we go. 4K hours and they're streaming this gameplay, bro. I'm so sure nobody is gonna get entertained by this shit. They're like, a really? streamer? Yep. I'm gonna go annoy them. Of course he's a white man. I wanna see the chat. I wanna see the chat. Hold on, hold on, let's see. Why are we being so sad? You, I did not hunt anyone this match. Why are you no, 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 sit no, 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 on... Why are you this mad? Gen. Why are you sitting on single gen? There were three fucking gens left on the map. One gen was 99. Your <laughs> amount of viewers and <laughs> streaming so and you shit, being like bro. this man. I did not hump a single person. Uh -huh, Can you uh -huh. clip me? Link the clip where I humped. Link it. I'm gonna close their tab. It's not fun. This guy is whining like a little bitch and does not want to admit anything they're doing. It's That's small dick behavior. It's okay. It happens. That's why you only have 18 viewers. 
Yeah, true. It's uh, too much. Wow, so you you just oh you wow. Partner streamers in in a single chat is too much for him to handle, unfortunately. You open his stream, the first thing you say is like, oh, of course it's a white guy. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Dumbo fucking looking white man. Oh boy. Like it wasn't racist. I just, you know, he looks very privileged, and he uses the way he talks, tells a lot about how much privilege he has. Pre pubescent white boy. Yeah. Really, you're going wow. This part. Jared, this this is too much. This is a lot. You shouldn't really be that toxic. I can understand in a friend group, uh, you saying that in private. I mean, people probably have said that about me. People have probably said that about a lot of other people. It's just one of those things that happens in private. You are on a stream with a lot of people. You are talking about um, another streamer in a very demeaning way your your fans the people following you are probably going to actually go to this streamer and are probably going to actually try to harass this streamer at least that's the way it seems like to me so that is absolutely not good it never is good and that's why this person says you deserve to be banned you and antadesu are both twitch partners and you along with your friends shamed a streamer to with 700 followers because you lost a match of dead by daylight you also pulled up a stream while live and harassed him in his chat pathetic i would agree with spoon junk spoon juice on this one it is not a good look especially from a twitch partner it says i got banned on twitch for seven days for things i did not do you actually did do this they actually have proof Small Dead by Daylight creator got very hostile towards me and my friends who played against him and nitpicked lines and made it all that I said it. I'm with my family right now, so I will appeal and get more of this later, according to them. Here's more information. Here's more stuff about what they have done, what they have said. Let's continue. And here is the supposed humping. Okay. That is the uh, supposed and then humping? You do that. That is not, that is not what? that. And you hump me, okay. What? That is not, no, no, that's not that. Go. That's a guy trying to figure out how what to grab you. Face? What the fuck? Only happens when I see you. Oh, great. So yeah, it, he was, it really honestly looked like something like I would do, where I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna grab this person and why the heck it isn't letting me grab them, pick them up and go put them on the hook. That's what it is. There is no that stuff involved. Uh, the streamer they harassed and shamed is Napnide on Twitch. If you want to go show them some love, let's see the, the further things down here. I'm not surprised. The worst one of the group sounds French. Um, either they're oversensitive or never play killer because that, this can easily happen when you try to pick up a survivor who's changed position after you down them. The killer also doesn't do it repeatedly to intimidate the survivor. It's just what some players want to see. So yeah, it's not like, oh my God, they're doing such horrible things. No. It says it seems like it was mostly the other people throwing out the worst of it, but the streamer in this clip should have absolutely shut it down and not joined in. I promise not all VTubers are like this though. Verbally agreeing with the viewer shaming the other Twitch partner and laughing at all their friends' insults makes it just as guilty. I agree with that part. Something for VTuber news. Um, cringe to bring up partner status CCV as some sort of flex. Right here, Rosie, Rosie Bellimu says, Pulling someone up on stream while talking crap about them is really incentivizing uh, your community to harass them. It's absolutely. If they did this in-game, they'd be banned in Dead by Daylight itself. So it shouldn't be okay on Twitch either. This is horrible. Gross, giving Dead by Daylight streamers a bad name. Take notes, y'all. This ain't it and never will be. Uh, look at what the Muppet ended up saying in Napnide's chat when they were attacking them. Just vile. Baybub, the person that we're talking about. Sorry, we didn't mean to bring more viewers into you. Clearly aren't worth it. Wow. Become a better person. Wow. Included this in my video that I'll be posting later today. Very sad. I got added here, of course. A uh, big part of why I find streaming this game so stressful. If I lose survivors, will mock me for being bad. If I win, they'll find something to complain about or make up rules that don't exist. There is no winning, 100% negative interactions. And this person says here, lol, even if they didn't say the worst of what was said, they literally went to their stream to complain and troll them when the guy honestly did nothing. Even after being attacked on his own stream, all he asked for proof for was proof of what he was doing in which they said he was whining like a little bee. Like, that's crazy. Their friend is making fun of the amount of viewers they have, making fun of them for being white and throwing insults at them left and right all while everyone is laughing along and following on their Twitch to harass them. It's actually wild. Gotta love him for being white is using an insult. Yeah, that's freaking really, really dumb insults. Viewer shaming is disgusting as hell. It really is. I hate doing that. Uh, I hate when people do that, honestly. I hate it's been done to me so many times that it really, really irks me. 
uh, was asking them to show what he did. He said, acting like a little bee. When their friend literally was so upset, they looked him up to be about him. Uh, and they chimed in. Come on now. Mean Girls are the biggest effing losers. That's why he only has 18 viewers. Babe, look inward. Who's, who's in the other person's stream harassing them over a game? How come the only stories I see about Dead by Daylight streamers are about how S the streamers are? Anime VTuber on Dead by Daylight acting like Entitled Moron? Not a surprise. So this is what happened there. There are um, more things that they posted. They said, as soon as the game was over, me and my friends moved on. But this person kept talking about me and making things up. Uh, so I don't understand why being uh, punished for something uh, where I'm not wrong. It feels so wrong and unfair to support. They're acting like a victim now. They said the person who claims he quoted below are right, are not right. Cer certain cited things were never said by any of my friends. I did say he only he has probably a small D by getting on a single gen or that he seems like an a-hole, but that's the only things that came out of my mouth. That's bad in this little garbage. Uh, he should be sh a bit blank when all these curse words. So he looks so privileged, average white male. You can hear from his accent. I already typed the guy he is. Tunneling blank, small blank person. Thanks, something clearly supermodel, that kind of thing. I'd like to also say this person kept encouraging their audience to come over to my stream. I didn't see that. Show proof. Show proof. Making allegations that I sent an army from a stream. Also kind of funny that this person suddenly is hiding their VODs private and subs only. Surely they have nothing to hide in this VOD. Why would they make VODs private? Probably because they're getting harassed a lot. They, I mean, it, that could be something. Uh, also, you know, they, they want to maybe just move on. That could be a thing too. One last thing, though, is wrongful ban for this person. I don't support or encourage people going after the person. Of course, you're saying this after the fact. You're saying this after you got a lot of flack for it. Sorry, but I hopped over in your stream and heard several of those sentences from your friends. As a streamer, you're responsible for what's on stream. Stop winding your way out. So you're saying that if a streamer plays Apex or CSGO match and someone says an N-word in voice that justifies that person getting banned, if they don't correct it, then it's kind of unfortunately the way streamers are seen, myself included. If you don't immediately say something against it, you know, um, disavow it, which I always disavow this type of stuff. I always disavow harassment of any sort. If you don't do that, then you are seen as just as bad as they are. No, it's out of the control. I'm not winding my way out, but certain quotes were never said by any of us, according to them. Actually, yes, if someone says the N-word on a match, you can be reported on Twitch. If it happens, you got to actively clarify that isn't okay from my understanding. That's why many people don't have VC on in lobbies. Exactly. And, um... Here we have more, you know, their stuff being here. What they said here, you know, um, I'll be taking a few days off. I'm not drama frog, but certain people love milking things. Believe what you want. This happened recently because of the, you know, the whole thing that happened. I, can't, I won't stop you. They have over 9,200 followers. This blew up for them. 263K, look, uh, you know, eyes on them. I'm sorry to whoever my actions caused harm, even though it wasn't meant to harm anybody. So it's, it's basically like saying, I'm sorry, but... And here we go with, I won't tag everyone if you'll read and go ahead. You may have seen the tweet targeted on my side. It's clear a certain person we won't name is holding a strong personal grudge against us because you went to his stream. They're acting like a victim here. I'm not saying I'm innocent in the whole matter. Certain things were said, mainly by my friends, and I could have and should have stopped them. Certain people in this world are more sensitive to some stuff being said, even though they are harmless, but what things are going on. To be completely honest, I'm not good with these situations. I'm not good for, it's not good for anyone's mental. I will not be interacting with the said post uh, because that is pretty much what those people want. I had said my side of the story and out of respect for the other party, I did not ever include any clips to stay in their stuff, etc. Once more of every last time, I never sent anyone to target the said individual, but you showed their stream. You went to their stream. That is not what you do. That is inciting harassment, at least by Twitch's standards. However, current time is clear that this person won't stop and I'm stomped completely to the ground. And even went to the link to report some of my sub emotes to get them taken down. Um, however, I am not the one who's getting attacked and focused to take blame on everything as I am the one being attacked. Uh, then I come out of my mouth, cornered and stained, point, pointed fingers at. They're going to be taking a break because of this. It's basically them kind of saying uh, they're not a drama person. They're not someone who does this type of stuff, but they went and did this type of stuff. That's the issue. That's the issue that I'm seeing here. For the most part, this person says you can at least apologize to him in a more direct way. This is a, an indirect apology that they're going on, that they're mentioning uh, here. Let's hear what they have to say. Hey, want to say sorry to the person you harass? Um, I am sorry for the person that I harass, but a lot of things are taken unfortunately out of context, and people don't really seem to care about what the actual truth is there. Well, I would be speaking about it for way longer than uh, I'm not really fan of drama, but uh, well, I did not start stuff anyway. Yeah, just full on acting like nothing happened. Acting 
acting like, ah, I, I'm not, I, they got angry. They're the ones that got angry. I'm sorry you got angry. I'm sorry my words hurt you. I'm sorry that y you got offended by this. I don't trust an apology that they go, I'm sorry, but no buts. Shut up and say sorry. Yeah, it, it doesn't look genuine at all. If you don't just go uh, say sorry, you know. If you say sorry, like you say, I'm sorry for the, what happened to him. I'm sorry that my words led to him getting harassed, that type of thing. They won't admit it, they're wrong unless they're going very badly for them in order to save face. They will do an apology video or post on socials. They need to admit that they were wrong and say sorry to the streamer in the Dead by Daylight community. Yeah, like a direct sorry and then put it publicly. Like, I messed up. This is where I messed up. This is where I failed you guys. That type of thing. And they don't do that. They absolutely don't, don't do that. And of course, they got eviscerated in the responses. Uh, Napnad went from 700 followers to 1.5k. Wow, so they got a lot of good support. I'm leaving this on this good note here. That's where I want to leave it. That's why I wanted to look at this to see if there was something good happening. So they doubled. They more than doubled their follower count, which is amazing. Now people are going to be checking out their stuff. And of course, check it out if you want to see Day by Daylight uh, content. Of course, I'm happy to have this type of ending to it. Other people were, were eviscerating her in these post replies, but I want to leave it on this positive note. Me when YouTube recommends some Niji Sanji BS. Niji Sanji and YouTube is throwing one at you. Oh no. Anyways, not interested. Exactly. That's what you do. You put not interested. I've done that very much for a lot of different channels. Um, some you know, some you don't know. But yes, definitely put not interested. And the next one is, this is Niji Sanji Acceleration Plan. Keep going as if nothing happened. Maybe it'll be fixed. Unaddressed terminal. Niji Sanji route. Just speed up a bit. You got this. Pretty much. Accelerate. They do accelerate a lot. A lot. If you go really fast, we'll make it surely. For sure, but normal car is going to break a lot of things when they land on the other side. It can be the same for a company that doesn't do things to protect their own talents. It's basically do a Dukes of Hazard type thing. That's what they want to do. Free bird that shit. That's what they want to do. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the wonderful place where I try to give back to VTubers and the community that has given so much to me. The community has given me a chance. I want to help other VTubers have that same chance that I was given. So today we have Mika, who is very much a demonic fire thing. They're not a chicken. They're not a chicken. They're not a chicken. So remember that they're not a chicken. They have a chicken there. They have Chimkin there. And right now they're playing, I believe, Team Fight Tactics, League of Legends. Um, they are a uh, cozy, chaotic demon fire. They're pretty new to streaming, so please be kind and patient with me while I continue to learn and try to improve. Play a variety of different games because I'm using a laptop. I'm unable to play games that require a good setup for now. So they're starting with, you know, the potato, the potato. That happens a lot. I started with a potato too. So that is, you know, just giving you an idea of how everything is. Here we go with their one of their recent um, things on their YouTube channel. It is a, a ghost moment. What game is this though? You think I should? Hello? Oh, there you go. Rip headphone users. Rip headphone users. Uh, that made me jump a little bit too. That was uh, that was fun. That was definitely good. Also, would like to remind you guys to um, check them out if you want. Uh, there's no requirement to check out or anything like that. But if you would like to take a look at them as I have and give them a chance, go ahead. And of course, thank you so much, Mika, for being a part of the VTuber Showcase for this episode. And I hope that the Showcase does help you along in your journey. Uh, the journey that you have in the future. Hopefully it gives you a nice little boost. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.